Welcome. Today we're speaking with Vince Reardon, author of the new book, The Pocket Mentor, Insider Tips from America's Most Successful People. What good advice did you hear from people in your book? Of the 101 people I interviewed, I got many, many really good pieces of advice. One of the principal things that people said over and over and over again was, be yourself. One person that I spoke to said, be yourself, but she put a particular spin on it. She spoke about how one should be oneself. And that person that I spoke to was Kristen Neff. She's a psychologist. She teaches at a university. And her specialty is self-compassion. She was saying that it's absolutely essential that we extend kindness and understanding to ourselves, not just to others. In fact, if we can't extend kindness and understanding to ourselves, we cannot be kind and compassionate to others. She says we live in a society where we value or we tend to value self-esteem, high self-esteem. And she says this is untenable because when you are pursuing self-esteem, you're really always judging and evaluating yourself. Did I do well? Didn't I do well? So we're always on this emotional roller coaster of up and down. We're always judging, always evaluating, and often we are witheringly critical of ourselves. We don't extend self-compassion to ourselves. We extend criticism to ourselves. And she says, this is wrong. She was saying, for instance, if a friend of yours was in a traffic accident, let's say they were texting while they were driving and they piled into the back of a car, what would you do? You would probably extend compassion to that person and say, how are you feeling? Are you okay? And you would you'd be understanding and supportive of that person. And she was saying, and yet we do not do the same thing to ourselves. And she says it's absolutely essential if we are to be ourselves, we need to extend self-compassion to ourselves. And if we can do that, then we can extend the hand of kindness and compassion to others. And what is self-compassion? Self-compassion, as I was hinting at in my earlier response, it's understanding and it's supporting yourself no matter what happens. It's not always wagging your finger at yourself and saying you could have done better. We need to understand that we and everyone around us are flawed human beings. We make mistakes and we need to accept that to really come into our full humanity. Be yourself, but be a self-compassionate self. That's what Neff advises. Thank you, Vince.